Hi, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. We are live tonight. I've got uh, Christian and Anna, and I'm Lucas. What up? Good evening. So we were going to do the MMC, what is it again? Wrong. Mentis. Mentis. We're going to do Mentis, but Rob did not get his Mentis in yet. Um, so we decided to wait a week. Uh, Rob's not a part of this show. Yeah, but we What's always have him on for that? the MMC stuff. So hmm. Seems like it's his issue, not ours. I know, right? Yeah. See, I ordered mine the fast shipping and it got here. You know, I ordered fast. mine the slowest shipping and it got here like a day after yours. True. Yeah. I didn't order one. According to the um, tracking information, mine is still in customs. Cool. So that's the negative about the shipping I use because this is this is customs right here in my hand. Well, that's the I'm reason sure that's the why I, I I just wanted to know. Mine did sit in customs. What the heck is that in the background? Oh, what? <laughs> that is Garrus playing. Oh. Uh, okay, sorry. fair enough. Uh, yeah, mine did sit in customs for like a while anyway, so you know, whatever. Anyway, so we uh, we said, oh, let's do one of the Amazon packs, and we couldn't decide which one, so we just decided to do all of them. So, or whatever. Yeah, like the two yeah, because they're all they're all kind of repaints. I mean, the two Beast Wars are definitely just repaints. Right. Well, that's not even close to being true. Okay, it's close to being true. They have new heads. They oh, do. whatever. New heads just. Ugh. Yeah, but this is like as whatever. I I feel like we're just so used to only getting a new head as like the in a repaint, you know? Yeah, like, and that that is a change, right? Because back in the day, repaints meant they would just literally try to make a character a completely different person with paint only. Now they do it with paint and a head, so it's like no, they just, a lot of times like they this. do it different heads too. We we like that. But yeah, yeah now they like course. remold. That's, that's what Anna said. Anyway. No, no, Anna said was right. It always is. Um, Christian? Sure. <laughs> anyway, so what do we want to uh, start with tonight? Who's... Do we want to start with the bird? Or we want to start with the dinosaur man? All right. I made a decision. Grim you just Grim grabbed back. one. I did. So, funny story about this. So, Anna and I, originally I had ordered this, and I was like, oh, Anna, you can have my Grimlock, because I don't care. I'm not going to collect everything, right? And then he came, and I was like, oh, this looks kind of cool. I kind of want it. Uh, sorry, you can't have Grimlock. So, Anna had to order her own. Yep, so I had to end up with the whole set. Oh, well. Sorry. It's okay. It was two new molds for me. Oh, well, there you go. I didn't realize you didn't get... The oh, wait, I thought you got the Mirage. It would have been impossible because this is the first release of this Mirage. Oh, the... Okay, I guess... It's a new mold! Technically, okay, sure. It's a remold. At best. Anyway, this guy, first. Yeah. Grimsaurus. He's got a super cool head. Yep. He, he does have a nice head. His eyes are, are rather dark, but they still stand out enough. Yeah, they're green in there. They are far back. They are yeah. far back, yeah. So this is my really first see. experience with this mold. It's a pretty fun robot. All in robot mode, which is not helpful. No, not... Not a really helpful, and I'm only transformed at once, so I don't think I really want to um, be I'm the one. I'm on the way. Okay, good. Because who knows what I would end up? I would probably end up with like a dinosaur butt and like an arm over here, and oh, we know which part you care about the most. The butt? Yeah. There you yeah. Go. He's almost got one. No crack though. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is a really I cool mold. I, I like. Um... Did we review the... Um... I don't remember. I'm going to go with yes. Probably. Dinobot. Probably. I think we did. Well, this has really good posability, and I would say, like, as an owner of MP Dinobot and someone who suffers from the existence of her MP Dinobot, 
I would say this is probably just a um a better way to go, honestly. I mean, it's a fun mold. I like it a lot, yeah. especially for a voyage. It's very poseable. It looks good, especially in robot mode. Like it pulls up the look pretty well. I think the chest is a little bonkers, but so, so my question is, Christian, does this mold annoy you because or not the mold, but the the deco because it's not accurate to the original figure. It does. Horribly. It does annoy me. No, the same. Me, okay. So okay. this was new. I would be like, all right, great. You know, this is a new character. He's some sort of white dinosaur with some gold and gray and stuff. And this is fun. This is great. But this was a, like, a, a raptor Dalmatian hybrid or some sort of raptor that got into cow print. It was a bizarre thing back in the day. <laughs> and I loved it. You know, I had Beast Wars Grimlock. I got rid of him when I found out about Gold Plastic. Um, I had him, and I really liked him. He was always fun. He was always goofy looking. I'd put him in dinosaur mode and joke about how he was a cow in a dinosaur suit. It was fun. And now... No more cow. No more cow. It would annoy me less if he hadn't actually appeared in fiction that way. Because it has been like, oh, it's just a, you know, a, a toy named Grimlock in the line, you know, whatever. No, no big deal. But he did actually appear in fiction as the Dalmatian colors, and he was kind of significant in that fiction. So, yeah, I kind of needed to have the real colors. Yeah, there was a guy at TFCon, and I didn't get his name, so I never asked other humans their names. Grimlock. Okay. I have no idea what you just said, but oh, the, the there customizer? was a guy who had a custom, yeah, that he was selling of this. It was fixed. It was better. Yeah, that that guy does really great customs. Yeah, he put the spots on it. It was really nice, but I didn't buy it. I probably should have. Yeah, you were debating with me on whether to buy it. I was like, maybe I'll go buy it. And then neither of us bought it. Yeah, I guess by the time I walked back over there, it was the next day because it takes me a long time to walk from one place to another. By the time I walked back over there, it, he didn't have anything out anymore, so I couldn't get it. Well, yeah, it he usually sad. sells everything pretty quick on the first day. <laughs> I remember, I think Will, um, Kenny bought a couple things from him at TFCon a couple, you know, a few years ago. But, like, yeah, like, literally, it's, like, one of those things where people are, like, running over to his booth. Because he does really great customs. Yeah. And not, like, horribly expensive. No, um, no, it wasn't too expensive at all. effort that he puts into it. It was a good price. I just, I had a budget. And I was hesitating like a hesitator tot. And I suffered for it. And now I'm stuck with this ugly version still. Cause, it's it's like, funny because, so I don't have any like nostalgia for the fiction or anything like that from beast wars so i actually think it looks cool and it doesn't bother me because i you know i i don't know anything about beast wars grimlock so there we go the stego is probably objectively just as good if not better True. than the original deco however the original deco was something that it was ridiculous you know it was just like dog spots or cow spots on a dinosaur it was fun and just kind of silly i understand why it would be corrected but i kind of have that feeling of um if you really want to correct these guys you better give them feathers or whatever you know yep Flocking. Like these are yeah these are still mostly jurassic park raptors <laughs> mostly but anyway, so. yeah, no, it starts. It, it bums me out that it didn't have the um, deco of the original. But it's still, it looks good. It looks good in both modes. It's very poseable. Um, Phil mentioned in the chat that he feels like an action figure in bot mode. And that is actually pretty cool. Like, he is that poseable. You know, he has full poseability, his arms and legs, his head's fully poseable. And his hands are built so he can hold his own weapons, even though he has, you know, the weird Beast Wars at hands. <laughs> so he's really neat. I did it. And yeah, the deck so was fine. Is... It, it's, yeah. it's good. Just like we were talking about, though. It, it needs it. And he's got some spots. There they are. 
They're not all gone. But, uh, yeah, it would have been nice to have the real ones. It would have. It almost feels like more of an homage than the same figure. Yeah. Feels like it's a new guy with an homage by having a couple spots on top. This isn't a bad deco by any stretch, but I would have been much happier with yeah, the original deco just put on this figure. I think we talked about this in the Dinobot review. These hands are weird. Yeah. They're weird. They are weird. They are weird. There's no way around it. They're strange. Yeah, they're just not they're not that appealing to look at. From him, him from behind, you know, the feet kind of stick out there, but they're a dark so, but... color, so they're not not horrible. And at this moment, my thigh pieces are having trouble tabbing in right here, but that may just be because I did it quickly and didn't do it correctly. Probably. Probably a little widgeting and you'll get it. Yep. The one thing I'll say about the dinosaur mode is that most of the Beast Wars and Kingdom, <laughs> they kind of lost because they went for that realistic animal mode. They kind of lost that animation and life that their faces had from the original cartoon. And I feel like Dinobots mold slash Grimlock is the closest to still having that like life to it. Like he still looks like a talking dinosaur to me. Where I feel like yeah. Cheetor no longer looks like a talking cat. Rat Trap no longer looks like a talking rat. I feel like this still looks like a dinosaur that should yeah, I think come Megatron up and... suffered a lot for that too. You think he also has more of a cartoon like face? No, I think, or do you think it's too real suffered from going Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's been a move universally throughout this entire line that I haven't liked because I did like the cartoonish animal faces of the original because it felt like you were half watching a Transformers cartoon, half watching some sort of cheesy fable. It was fun. <clears throat> but it's okay. This one does it better. I like him. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, and I guess we should move relatively quickly since we're doing yeah, four. Which, uh, which one do we want to do next? The other well, his pack, or? well, his pack mate. We should probably do that one, right? Okay. Sure. It was I don't remember which one it was. Ugh. We all in bot mode again? Jeez, guys. So I feel like yeah, I'm, I'm in bot mode too. So the thing that's like I I really like this a lot better than the uh, what was it the siege one that came out. Um, yep. The only thing that's frustrating is is that it doesn't have a spot for the shoulder cannon. Um, and I guess that you can like take care of that with a upgrade kit, but it's kind of frustrating that you have to do that. So otherwise yeah. though, I think it's a really cool looking, like the deco, what did I do with my other Mirage? I don't know where my other one's at, but like, it's, it's just a much nicer looking deco for both modes in my opinion. It's just an odd move that he has the gun that should be a shoulder cannon. But it can't go on his shoulder. I guess his shoulders don't have tags. It's just kind of strange. Yeah, really weird decision. I'm not sure what would have precipitated that. Like, it doesn't bother me as much as it does some people. Like, I'm not as... Like, he doesn't have to have a shoulder cannon to be Mirage for me. You know, half the time I want my toys to put their guns away anyway and just hang out and have dinner together. So it's part of his silhouette. It is part of his silhouette. It, I just said it doesn't bother me as much as it does other people. The, well, I'm quite bothered. Taking him out again is, has reminded me I need to get a kit. Is that they always have to have like one deficiency. So in that way, <laughs> like whenever they redo it in five years or whatever, then you want to buy the new one. Because if they did it perfect, then you'd never rebuy it. So. So, I mean. Catherine says the original Seas Mirage feels like a slap in the face compared to this one. I can say that wow. for pretty much everything that's like come out. Uh, it's like really frustrating because they're like just a touch nicer. Like I would have probably been happy with all the figures that came out in Siege. Right. But then they like put these figures out in Earthrise and they're just like 10 percent better. better or 20 whatever. Like, you know, just pick your, you know, each figure may be a little bit little bit better and it frustrates me because it's like oh now all of these are obsolete because i want the better version yeah i think i don't know something about the way this one silhouette works and i can't quite reach my 
I can't reach my deceptive mirage from here, can I? No, I can't. I don't even see him. Where'd he go? Who knows? Who cares? Um, something about the silhouette on this one just feels off to me. So I'm actually kind of happy having both. Because I'm still going to have the other one as Decepticon Mirage because that was a fun thing. Which one? The purple one or the clear yeah, one? Yeah, the purple one. Oh, okay. The clear one is useless. But I, still have the, that. I wasn't sure if you sold it or I not. I do. I do. It's in the cell pile, but it, it still lives here. <laughs> But this I'm, one is I'm not the fastest transformer out there. Uh, definitely would not be me either. Like this one is good. I really do like it. Like it has, you know, if you compare the articulation to Dinobot, it suffers, of course, because I feel like Voyagers right now are the articulation sweet spot, where Voyagers are getting like good articulation, and then Deluxes are getting close. I but mean, sometimes they have sacrifices. I mean, outside of obviously bad. does have wrist swivel, but um, <laughs> otherwise that pretty much has everything else. What else does it not have? His ankles are just a little odd to play with just because of what they are, you know, with his weird stabby, swishy feet. I mean, like, it's not bad. It has, it has more ankle rotation than a lot of them just because of the transformation. Like you can do the side to side and front to back. It's not bad. It's just kind of a weird foot to play with. Ooh. Ron brings up a good point that the clear Mirage will look good with reformatted Galvatron. So are you getting that, that one? That's true. That is true. I am not. <laughs> I'm really hoping someone will sell me the little accessories that come with theirs. Someone who doesn't care because I like uh, the little accessories, but there's I am. somebody that will. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm shocked to hear Catherine say that the that figure was a slap in the, in the face. face. She's normally so positive. Yeah, but I mean, there's really not a place for both of them in your collection. No, there isn't. And think, like, I've, yeah. since Earthrise came out, we've talked about this numerous times, but I feel like Siege was a slap in the face. It was a waste of time. There was no reason for Siege to happen with well, Earthrise on the horizon. And the funny thing is, is now they're doing these Cybertronian modes. Right. Like from the Transformers movie and studio series that are more Cybertronian or whatnot. That like, you're like, oh, well, okay. I would have been okay if we would have gotten that. But, you know. They're different. -er. Like, yeah, this stuff. And um, so this Mirage cleans up pretty well, too. So, I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty does. happy with this set overall. No, it's it's good. It's good. I just think I like both of them, so I'm kind of glad got that glad that I have an excuse to have both. I did it. Is your mirage in uh, car mode misaligned, Christian, or the Autobot symbol? Is that what's misaligned? The symbol on yeah. some of them. Oh, a little. I mean, mine's that bad. Mine's about like that. Yeah, like I not just bad transformed him. He might me. be a little off. His symbol, yeah, it's a, it's a little off. Not bad though. Your mind didn't upset me or anything. Yeah, I yeah, like it he's, though. He's he's the F one racer. He doesn't super look like Mirage to me. He looks more like Slapdash, which is interesting, and I would buy that as a repaint of this. But it's closer than the Cybertronian was. Cybertronian one was. Yeah, I was trying to talk myself into getting rid of um, Sphinx, and I just kept looking at it and thinking about how it had the right car mode, and this yeah. one has a different looking car mode, and it was just bothering me because it's like Sphinx is getting old. You know, it's not like he doesn't quite live up to the standards of a lot of the like MP ish figures these days. So I wouldn't mind replacing them. So what's like really crazy about the car modes here? He got this new chest, and that's the chest of the right car mode. That's true. It is. This is not it. I just think it's funny. That is funny. Yeah. It's so, true though. I I wonder if like Anna is like one of the only people that is like, well, I'm looking to replace my like masterpiece, you know, whatever Mirage with this like twenty dollar deluxe it just here. Well, it's because that one just doesn't make me that happy. 
Like, you know how it is. Sometimes you get yeah. a figure and it's like, you know, sometimes you get a figure and it's the MP and you're just like, wow, this is amazing. I'm so happy. I never need another one. Sometimes you get the yeah. MP and you're like, eh, this isn't great for the money or I'm okay with this. And then you get a deluxe and you're just like, well, this is a better toy overall. So I like it. Yeah. You need to just get the transform element Mirage. Yeah. I probably like that more. I think I do like that more. So right now I just have both. So whatever. I mean, I'll deal with it. is like a pretty old, you know, figure. It at this is. Point, so. It's an older toy and it's good. There's, it's not a bad toy at all. I would like to point out this fun Easter egg. You see how it says orc on him, where it used to say elf? It's because, huh. you know, orcs and elves fight in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I think it's a clever, fun thing to do. You know? Yeah, I think that's it's fun. Easy. I didn't even know. The head's yeah, cool so he used to say elf. Now he says orc. Whoever designed yeah. that deco, you're fantastic. My eyes are not great. When I looked at it, I was like, oh, there's like circle A things under the 26. Okay. <laughs> sure, right. That doesn't clearly say uh, work. When the product images came out, I'm like, ha ha. That is adorable. I like it a lot. So, yeah, both of these are really good. They were, they were in the set together, right? Definitely worth getting, except you probably can't now. I think these you can still. You can. Can you? That's good. Yeah. Yeah, no complaints, especially for me, since I didn't have the dinosaur mold. Well, I'm, I'm curious, like, how many people for, for these are like, why did you package, like, Beast Wars with G1, you know? Like, cause you Christian, don't are you pre-transforming your other two? Yep. I was just about to tell you, my other two are both in Beast Mode, or oh. Alt Mode. My, mine are in uh, Robot Mode, so... Well, thanks, Anna. Which one do we want to do? I guess we'll... Dumb bird. <sighs> Skywarp. Yep. I like Why it. would you call him a dumb bird, Anna? Yeah. I called him a dumb bird because I don't think that this bird became an eagle very well. I think right. it looks yeah. fine. I think it is a very awkward looking eagle with a cute little bird head. Mm, well, he, he does what he can. Yes, it's it's the best you can do of an eagle from Air Razor without giving it a new bird head. I mean, do you, and they didn't give it a new bird head. Did they you just like Air Razor okay, but not this one? Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah, okay. yeah, because I feel like her bird head looks like the kind of bird she is. This one doesn't look like an eagle to me. Hmm. This is Skywarp. He's from Beast Wars Two. He's what used to be part of the Combiner Magna Boss Two. He does not seem to combine anymore, which is sad. I'm sad about that. In America, he was known as Silverbolt before the Fusor was known as Silverbolt. There are minor deco differences, but they're essentially the same. But he's here. He's now here in this pack. He also took the spot, according to listings, of someone I wanted way more. And I'm bitter about it. Who's that? Night Prowler. Hmm. When Amazon Australia first put up the listing for this pack, it wasn't a pre-order yet, but it was Sideswipe and Night Prowler, and then it was Sideswipe and Skywarp. And where is Night Prowler? Not in the Golden Disc Collection, not in Selects, not anywhere, and I am sad. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. And so this One is day. the Aries mold again. It is a bummer to lose something, but we got something. Something none of us probably wanted that much. But anywho. He's here. Yeah. Do you so like it or not? He's the Aries mo mo bah, mold. As I mentioned before, you know, your mileage may vary on this bird. Like, I think that it makes a weird looking eagle approximation. It kind of bugs me. And I feel like all the flaws with the bird mode, you know, the, the robot hanging off the bottom, just stand out more to me more just because I don't like the head. Like, it just starts me in feeling negative about the figure. Whereas Air Razor, I just had this, like, positive experience with her the whole time. So, the paint on mine's a little bit sloppy. I don't know about yours. Um, I mean, it's not horrible, horrible, but it's a little bit sloppy. And then... The head, the eagle, like, just with it being white and whatnot, like, it seems like that the separation is, like, super noticeable. 
uh, where I didn't feel like it was that as that much on Air Razor. I didn't notice that till now, but you're right. That is a big perforation. I don't know. I kind of like it. But I don't know. I mean, it's cool. Like, if you want the character, I don't think it's necessarily bad. I don't know that I would get the whole set just if you wanted Skywarp. But if you were like, the, oh, I want I want both figures, then... like I One of the really cool things about this figure versus its 1996 counterpart is that this won't shatter. <laughs> That's good. Not, not made of you know, shatterable brown plastic. So is this the um, the bad plastic replacement collection? Could be. I'm kind of hoping they do that with the Beast Wars reissues and do the transmetal flaking, I'm sorry, collection. And they just paint it instead of back metal. But that's another topic for another time. That would be very nice. It would. I also do, do not like back, back metal, metal anymore. I'm sure they do. Yes, something. we just got it on the G1 Ravage reissue that came with the Ravage agent oh, okay. pack. There we go. That's so on pieces Jetfire that don't move. is the last one I can think of. Yeah, as far as the bot mode, I feel like, you know, it's very much very similar to Air Razor, because it is Air Razor. <laughs> With Silver Bolt's world... head, or not yeah, Silver Bolt, but head, Silver head. Head. Both. Both. Uh, in a world where a brown figure became repainted into a brown figure, this could have been a lot worse. True. I was skeptical, but it's different enough where it's like, oh, it's not the same thing. No, you can stand them side by side on the shelf and they don't look stupid. They look like two different people. I mean, I will say that with the different browns and whatnot, like it breaks up the uh, sculpt enough to where it looks, you know, visually interesting. It's it's not something where it's, you know, like, like they could have just made the whole thing just the same shade of brown and it would have looked crappy, but I don't think it looks too bad. Nope, oh, it is totally fine. And this is a, it's a silly robot mode head because it's supposed to be. You know, that's how he's supposed to look. It's very silly, but it's well done. So I enjoy it. Yep. Because he's just a man wearing a bird face. And that's fine. Despite the fact that that bird face is, you know, an inch away on his chest. <clears throat> Except it's not. Because the one on top of his head is a proper eagle face. You're right. Just don't think about it too hard. He's a but I already dude. have. I already have. That's an issue. He's Do fine. I... He's not the, the draw of this set, but he doesn't drag it down either. Fairly neutral deluxe, I would say. No, he's good at all. He's almost as good as Air Razor. Just because yeah. I didn't have a I didn't have a hem shaped hole in my collection. I wasn't sitting around thinking about how I needed a Beast Force 2 Skywarp. I was sitting around thinking about how much I needed a Night Prowler. Aww. I was thinking about how Sorry, much buddy. I needed an Air Razor. I'm glad to get her. That's okay. Yes. I can get all the other Night Prowler toys that have existed. Oh, wait! There aren't any. Oh, Christian. You love your Obscurios. I take a little bit of responsibility for the one bit of Nightcrawler fiction existing. I was the impetus for its creation. That's a story for another day, but yeah. Love them. Look at you. What's the story? I'm like, I'm intrigued now. Oh, not, I mean, it was not a big deal. Back in the day of Ask Vector Prime, the Facebook series, you know, you would ask Vector Prime things, and you know, various writers like Sorensen would come in and you know, write little bits of fiction for them. And so I kept asking about Nightcrawler, and eventually, Vector Prime responded. And now there's fiction. And now there's fiction about Nightcrawler. There you go. Good job. So, yeah, he, he's, you know, I take a little bit of ownership of that. What a yeah, creation mess. Figure. If only. He made it to a store listing. Maybe for Halloween next year. He was supposed to be released as a Halloween horror con in Universe, but Walmart took too many exclusives, so they didn't want those exclusive. Maybe they'll do horror con packs next year. 
plus wasp out. It's it's wasp Mater, black arachnia, night prowler, and uh, leather hide from the mutant sound wave mold, but that doesn't exist now, so they'll probably make something else. Or they'll use the Titan's Return uh, what's his face? Skull Contra mold. Time will tell. They could. So Squarp is fine. Squarp? Squarp. Yeah, okay. I, I tried to say it fast. It's like Skyward Fast. It's Squarp. Squarp? It just turns into Squarp, though, so it doesn't work as well. Eh, yeah, well. That's compared to what? Who knows? So finally... It's back. It's real Sideswipe. Sideswipe is significantly nicer. Yes. Sideswipe is significantly nicer, and, like, I'm not especially good at articulating why. Like, it almost annoys me how it feels so much better to me, but, like, visually, it's, it's like, it's better. not that different, but it's, it's a lot chest. better. The chest is skinnier. Yeah. But even the car mode looks a lot better to me. Well, I mean, looks like it looks more accurate to, you know, the Lamborghini, outside of the, you know, the back wing or whatever that it doesn't have it's like a really mm-hmm. flat car Ooh. oh well, look at uh-huh. you christian I, I i got kits also i, I put the jetpack on it because it still has the, a peg um, for that is that the non-f kit and is it color matched it is and it, it is look how color matched that is yeah that's pretty good i mean that is a good color match. match yeah hmm. but this is the kit from the weaponizer pack from last year it, it still fits cool. usually looks like without it oh good Yeah, this is another slap in the face figure because this yeah. is the side swipe we wanted the whole time. And instead we've had to have a you know, crappy battle damage side swipe that doesn't look like anything twice. but almost looks like what he's supposed to be twice. And um, yeah. yeah. Please Hasbro, if you listen to this podcast, and I know you do because we're the most popular ones, uh, never do that again. Please. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the one that would annoy me. Like, I... I either didn't get the sideswipe or I sold mine. I don't remember, but I have the G2 version. If they make the G2 again, I'll probably be mad about it because then I'll want it to replace my current G2. Well, the G2, I wouldn't be as mad about because I feel like I would sticker one and then one I wouldn't. I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. We talked about this when Red Alert came out, but I guess we could talk about it again. Is Would Christian, the crazy person that he is, buy all of the repaints in the Earth mode instead of the Cybertronian mode. I don't know. Are you getting rid of Cybertronian Sideswipe? He's already gone. Okay. So See, you did I not keep like both? I'm like behind on, on this because I have not sold any of that stuff. And I should. Well, you know, only one of us could drive all of our crap to Baltimore. Oh, wait, you drove to Baltimore. Hmm. Yeah, but there was no the room. Was full. There was yeah, no room. my car was also full. Uh, but yeah, I got rid of them yeah. there. I have one left that Hasbro let me keep when I tried to return it because it was missing a paint application. So maybe I'll customize that into something. But I didn't feel comfortable selling it that way. So one of the That's original. Familiar. Yeah, it's right here. Siege, siege swipe. Oh, he's just there. Yeah, he's missing a paint application. I was like, can I replace this with a different one? They're like, oh, no, we'll send you another one, and you can keep that one. I was like, okay. Yeah, so the car definitely, to me, looks a lot better. Even though I I didn't expect it to still be this flat when they made it again, but it is. And I don't mind it. Yeah, it fits with some streaker very well, which is what anyone wants it to do in the first place. Right. It came out good. I don't actually think the guns look good on the side like I had it. I think they look tacky and silly, but otherwise I will lose them. So they will fall uh, into the abyss that is my room. So yeah, was this good missing his. It was the first side swipe was missing this silver paint application on his forehead. Let's see if I can show it. Can you show it, Lucas? Oh, yeah. The, it's like in the very top. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, on his... Yeah. Yep. And so now this one has it, which is much better. Yep. But it's it's another 
long, it's another in the long line of incremental improvements over Siege. It would be nice if they were drastic improvements, but you know, Siege was already close as it was, and we talked on Monday how I don't feel like things that are you know, new interpretations, but too close. Yep. So, that's what yep. Siege was. It was really annoying. I hate it a lot. I hope it never happens again. I've been thinking about it for the past couple minutes, and I would get all the repaints in the Earth mode. You'd replace every it, single one of them? Yes, but I would like to get a commitment that they would do all of them before I started doing that. Right, because you wouldn't want to end up with halvesies? Yes. Because right now, like, I think it makes sense for Tiger Track, Deep Cover, Rollback, and Clamp Down to be all the same. That makes sense. Okay. Too. But they're doing two Clamp Downs next year, officially. Mine's a custom. And... Are those going to be this Earth mode? Are they going to be right clamped on colors? We don't know. The um the red alert happened, right? Yes, mm -hmm. he exists. Okay. He's in that Earth mode. I think Did... I'm okay with having the ones who appeared in the show be Earth mode and the ones who didn't be Cybertron mode. That that makes sense in my brain. Yeah, I think that makes sense outside of your brain too. Has the red alert they... actually shown up at Walgreens? The shelf tags have appeared this week, so he should be coming soon. Oh, there you go. Oh, right. That's what happened with him. He went up on poles, and then... Yeah. All the cool kids ordered him. Which, that's kind yes, of and weird, I hesitated. Up, like, yeah, that polls got him so much sooner than everyone else. And it's been a while. It's been like two months. Yeah, but, I mean, shipping's been such a weird thing this year. That's true. So. Yeah, I don't... I don't mind that I missed that one. I think this one looks really great, though. Yeah. This one is. Uh, this was definitely the draw of the pack, unless you just yeah. really like Skywarp or Silverbolt for some reason, but this is the reason most people got this pack, and they were right. It, it's a fantastic piece. This is a sideswipe we should have gotten all along. This probably is the last sideswipe that I'll buy, at least in you know, Earth mode. If they want to do a full-scale line like Red Bull... And I'll, I get to buy a $20 bowl side swipe. That's fantastic. But in absence of that, I'm, I think I'm done. I think that's my favorite side swipe I own still. It's still Lamb Bowl. Well, He's I still my favorite. I anymore. I know you don't. I like him, though. Just it wasn't a spot for him. I get that. I have a place for him in my heart. Yeah. That's where I they mean... go. Over, overall, I'm happy with these sets. I uh, I don't regret yeah, me too. buying them. So I do regret hey. buying Siege stuff, but you know, hey. It is I nice feel like that I... Amazon's been consistent in getting sets like this because mm -hmm. they did the Siege bits, and I think they did some bits for Earthrise. These are the Kingdom ones. Oh, the Earthrise ones were oh the Ironhide and the Ratchet packs. Those were those have been interesting but uh, i think they produce these in enough numbers or at least everyone learned to not wait to order them yeah which is good i feel like i should regret this pack the side swipe and the um sky warp but i don't so at least it's not as expensive as the jurassic park ones right yeah absolutely yeah. which someone is getting tomorrow that someone is us well, at least, are, are you getting yours tomorrow too, not next week? I guess we're in the same shipping area, so everybody else is getting theirs next week. Not well, me. Mine said Monday, like they said. Mine did too, and, and then today Monday, it was like, surprise! And then they just sent another note and said, hey, tomorrow, so. Dinosaurs for breakfast, surprise. Which is, I guess, okay news. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah, we'll see how excited we are about that in like three weeks when we get around to it. Will Christian have one from a Black Friday deal before then? We'll find out. <laughs> or will you have one of ours when we're just like, God damn it, this is that trash. That doesn't happen as often as you, you say it does. Yeah, no. True. No, it doesn't. Maybe. So Book Club this week is already 40, 54 and 55. Uh, so check that out on Sunday night at 930 Eastern. 8.30 Central on the TF Talk Discord. Yeah, do it. So Yeah, it's always fun. 
You can listen to us complain about our toy purchases of the week too. And join on. Yeah. Lots of complaining about the Jurassic Park set that'll drop. I'm sure. I'm sure that's what's going to happen. Although two of our number actually no, because I'm going to be the only one who has it by them out of everyone in book club. I'm the only one getting it early. Well, you never wow. know. Way to flex. There's still like I will a flex. few days before book club. So it's true. Knows, it's true. It could happen. They might get it on Saturday or Sunday. I don't even know. I don't even know if I'll care that I have it. <laughs> So. Not too excited. I am, but not too excited. I got distracted by that thing we're going to review in like two-ish weeks. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's a secret. The thing I thought I would hate really bad and I actually really like because that's the way my brain works. Your brains. Seventh time is the charm, so. Anyway. Uh-huh. All right. Well, thank you guys uh, for joining us tonight. Uh, thanks to everyone in the chat. Uh, thanks to Randall. Thanks to Catherine and Ron and Phil. Did I miss anyone? I think that's it. So, yep. Thank you guys. And we will see you next week. Bye.